If you want to replicate a style you like on Midjourney, there's an easy way to go about it now. Style reference is the newest Midjourney parameter, and truth be told, it has redefined AI image generation. The tool lets you use a style in an image you like on another image. Here is a super quick rundown of how style references work on Midjourney and the amazing features that follow. Midjourney's style reference draws upon the visual elements or character of the original image. And by that, we mean the colors, composition, texture, background, and even the overall atmosphere. So let's get right into each parameter before using them on the latest Midjourney version. In February 2024, Midjourney released a new tool for its sixth version, Style Reference. Style Reference, or SREF, is a parameter that allows you to use an existing image as a visual style reference for your prompt. You can choose any image and replicate its style perfectly with this tool. All you have to do is find the style you want, and Midjourney does the rest of the job, replicating similar themes and feels. Unfortunately, Midjourney's style reference is unavailable across the board. The tool only works on Midjourney version 6 and Niji version 6, so if you are using version 5 and lower, you might not have access to this parameter. But you might be thinking to yourself at this point, don't we already have a style reference in Midjourney's image prompt? Well, sort of. I also thought they were similar until I noticed some differences. Style reference works similarly to an image prompt because they both use an image as a reference for your prompt. However, the difference lies in the results that follow. For SREF, Midjourney tries to replicate the overall aesthetics of the image you are referencing, but with an image prompt, you are more or less copying the whole composition of the image. See it like this. I get the famous Van Gogh Starry Night image and apply the image prompt parameter. Midjourney uses the image I have provided, merges it with the written prompt, and makes a new image. Say I write dog, the results will be of images of dogs in the Starry Night image with much of the Van Gogh Starry Night feature still intact. This essentially means that image prompting is more or less like an addition. But with SREF, there is a unique twist to things. SREF sees deep into how the image was made. It inspects the color, feel, theme, and then recreates a new image. Say you want to see the same Starry Night image plus dog word prompt as we did above. Here is what might likely come out. You would probably have a new image with a dog and starry night instead of the dog simply being added to the picture. Notice the difference. Let's get back to why we are here. How to use SREF. To use SREF, you need an image to start with. There are two ways to get the image to Midjourney. You could use a public URL or decide to upload the image directly to Midjourney. Here we show how to use SREF on Discord and Midjourney Alpha. Here is how to use SREF on Discord if you have an image but no link. Step 1. Upload the image you want to style reference to Discord. Double-click the plus icon next to the prompt box to do this. Alternatively, you could select Upload a file, choose your desired image, and tap on Enter to upload it. The next step depends on whether you use Discord on your desktop or mobile. If it is a desktop, click on the image and select Open in Browser. Once the image opens on a browser, you copy the URL from the address bar. The link usually ends with .jpg or .png. If you are using Discord on mobile, you just have to long press the image until the Copy Media Link option pops up on your screen. Step 3 now let's get into some image generation. On the text bar, enter forward slash imagine and enter the prompt, what you want the image to depict. After you have entered your prompt, type the parameter, dash sref, and paste the URL you copied in the previous step. Remember that the link gets shortened after you press enter. Don't worry, it happens. Also, ensure there is a space between the URL and parameter, dash sref, like you can see here. A cat with a flower crown, dash dash sref url a dot png. If you have a public link rather than an image, don't sweat it. The steps are similar. Instead of uploading an image as we did, you could go straight to the last step. Copy your URL address and insert forward slash imagine the prompt, then dash sref and the copy link. Now that you know how to use the sref parameter on Discord, here is how to use it on alpha.midjourney.com. 
Upload an image by clicking the plus icon and dragging the image to the message bar. Be careful not to drop the image on the space that says choose a file or drop it here. Instead, choose the prompt bar. Two boxes appear when you drop the image on the prompt bar. One says to add a style reference and another says to add an image prompt. Step 3. Drag the image to the box that says add style reference. If you are unsure that you are using style reference, you can move the box and the style reference box will appear. Drop it there and then add the text prompt. SREF is compatible with other parameters on Midjourney. You can use it with Stylize, Weird, Chaos, and even Style Raw. Each option generates a unique look that is mind blowing. Here is how you can use all the different parameters with Style Reference. We now know that there are numerous use cases and creative possibilities to unlock. Essentially, blending any combination of contrasting images can forge a unique and often surprising style by drawing powerful elements from all the inputs. You can use several style references on one prompt. Adding them is easy. If you want to add multiple style references, add multiple public URLs to the text prompt. You can add up to three different URLs or images. Next, add the text prompt you want, then follow it with the image links. Use weights to prioritize an image and make it more pronounced. You do this by pasting your URL and following it with two colons and a number. The higher the number, the more attention it gets. If you don't add a double colon, the default weight is 1. When working with images, you can tweak the chaos level you want between 0 to 100. 0 is the default option, while 100 is the maximum you can get. Here is an example. A cat with a flower crown, image prompt URL, dash dash C50, dash dash SREF URL A. One of the many ways you can use style reference to make your image pop is with sref random. This parameter generates a style from an abstract range of options that Midjourney can create. You can use sw alongside sref random to determine how strongly the random style influences your result. Here is an example of how you can use sref random. A cat dash sref random. The prompt will generate multiple images with different styles. For example, sref one two, three, four, five. If you want to create images of a similar style, you need only to use SREF with the seed number 12345. You can tweak the style weight if you aren't getting enough of your style reference. Style weight or SW increases or decreases reference image strength. The range of style reference is on a scale of 0 to 1000. The default of the generated style reference images is 100. Adding the style weight parameter can add more details to your prompt. Setting the style weight to 0 removes the effect. But when you put the SW 1000, Midjourney follows the reference image much more closely. If you want to reduce the impact of style on your prompt, you can use a number less than 100 and vice versa. Here is how to use it with sref. A cat with a flower crown dash sref url a dash sw 800. Don't forget to put a space between sw and the number you want. So let's address a few things here. Can you use the image prompt and style reference on the same prompt? Of course, and you probably should for a better effect. However, there is a clause. You have to use both of them with text prompts. We know that while image prompts and style references are similar, they work differently. But here's how to add an image prompt and style reference. Add the URL of the image prompt before the sref parameter, like this. A cat with a flower crown, image prompt URL, sref URL A. That being said, I believe we can appreciate how style reference helps us to get the look we want in our images quickly and without having to express ourselves in words. I know you can't wait to try out the new parameter. When you do, please let us know about your experience. And if you loved this video, please hit that subscribe button and help us on our goal to at least 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. And if you missed our last upload, don't sweat it, I have it showing on the screen right here for you to watch. Watch.